A lot of friends and I, we heard a bunch of rumors about our school, about like what its foundation was, what the history of it is. There was actually a maze garden. And I think a maze garden seems really cool. Like I'm picturing like the giant hedges that everyone just like trying to make your way out of it. We got curious and we created a group text and we all went around the school a little bit and started searching. And we walked in next door to the office, literally right next to us, and framed on the wall is a picture, an aerial picture, of East Texas Baptist College, and there's a maze garden. And right in the middle of it was a Masonic symbol. I was just looking into it, and I was able to find out that the Masons probably took at least one part in building our campus. But I knew where the Masons Lodge was because we'd passed it up whenever exploring downtown, and I was able to find a phone number for it. And as I called the phone number, and a map picked up, and I was able to introduce myself and just say, hey, I was just wondering what part the Masons played in building our campus. And he says, why, why do you ask? And, and I said, because there's, there's the Mason symbol on the cornerstone. And he goes, well, we probably just donated a cornerstone, honestly. And then we got to a point that he kind of passed over. As he's like, yeah, and then it talks about what's in the cornerstone. But they had this giant parade. And I'm like, wait, well, what cornerstone? Like, what's in the cornerstone? I called Dr. Sanders, our provost. I met with him and I was like, okay, so you know the cornerstone on Marshall Hall? There's a time capsule inside. Then we took it over to Dr. Blackburn and I was able to show him and that's whenever we actually decided that day he said, you know what, this next homecoming we're doing Founders Day. Let's open it up on Founders Day. And the time capsule just happens to be from 1916, exactly 100 years ago. It's a lot of different papers, whether it be newspapers, yearbooks, or something of that sort. One of the things that I was kind of excited for was on the newspaper it said, old coins. I've always liked to look into history a little bit, just to find the interesting facts and little tidbits and stuff like that. It's just a lot about the memory of our college, how we were set up and that kind of thing. After taking out our old time capsule, we decided to put in a new time capsule. I think in about a hundred years, whenever they take out our time capsule, and I want to show them that we're not as different as they are, as the fact that we are a school that provides academic as well as spiritual needs. And I hope in a hundred years that they've taken our foundation in Christ and they've built upon it to reach even more students.